Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be going through the brand new update that did go live for Ark Survival Evolved for the PC. Now this will come to console, but as you guys know, as always, it comes to the PC first, just to make sure everything goes okay with that version. So we're going to be going through that today and a little bit of information, so I hope you guys do enjoy. As always, if you enjoy, um, if you don't mind hitting the like button, it really does support the channel. And subscribe if you're new around here for your daily ARC news. We're getting closer and closer now, guys, to big, big news, so make sure to stick around for all of that coming up. So let's hop into the PC patch notes right now to see what has dropped in the update and hopefully it's some stuff that will sort out some of your guys problems so the first thing is just fix the exploit wildcard never ever talk about what they fixed or what exploit it is just because you know if they talked about it then it would make people find out about it a little bit more so they've always said that the reason why this uh this is just the thing because if they talked about everything then people would all jump onto it uh, but it is a major version so it is a kind Kind of big update um, and usually when things don't look as big on the list sometimes you don't realize how much they've changed within the game so they also had some fix some map issues on Fiorda fixed issue with getting dismounted from space dolphin randomly that's a big one I see that constantly so I'm glad that's been sorted they've actually fixed a server crash with saves over four gigabytes every single year wildcard year on year have been saving so much um, memory uh, which has actually made the game run so much better over the years i know there's still problems and there's always been over time but the thing is if we were to play like you know even arc a year ago you would notice a massive difference it's a game that's always changing year after year and sadly it will never be in that perfect state but let's hope arc 2 will be and um, there's always going to be problems but you guys know what i mean so, and they also fixed the Basilisk not being able to tame in simplified Chinese, added server config to disable creating folders in tribute, uh, in invent tribute uh, inventories, now disabled on official servers. And you can obviously do disable custom folders in tri uh, tribute uh, inventories. And they also added a server config to temporarily disable the tech railgun on PVP servers, now disabled on PVP servers. So, um, I'm guessing this is something that, again that's going on with the tech railgun. Um, you know, there was it. They actually kind of basically removed it from the game from being any use uh, a couple of months ago, and it still seems to be a problem, which is really, really strange. I knew a lot of the tech weapons as they started getting involved into the game and stuff over the years have caused problems, but yeah, that's pretty much the full update. Let me know in the comment section down below how big the update is for you. I'm going to start downloading mine now. I think it only went live about two hours ago i think that's when the update went um so that's pretty much it now a lot of you guys have been asking me when's the next big exciting update come into the game because obviously over the past few uh like uh sort of i'd say since fiorda dropped it has this was quite a big patch it's kind of just been that so if we go all the way down the last version was fiorda which was obviously the 12th of june so and i always mention to you guys that after a new map around about summertime and the summer event we never tend to get that much stuff for a long time it's all bug fixes all of that stuff and really the only next upcoming content we know about for arc one is the car uh, or car car um which again uh you know is an update which i'm hoping we will get before the extra life event which is in november so we're coming closer to september i'm hoping that for the halloween event event fear evolved seven i think it's seven now that's when we should be seeing it come to the game i could be completely wrong it does worry me a bit that they haven't actually talked about it but just because extra life in november early november is going to be all about arc 2 so let's hope we get that at some point there so if you haven't seen the most recent crunch um it is basically just going on about pax west 2022 i did do a full video this was pretty cool here from wildcard um i'll just show it again. I'm HLNA 
Journey, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Come meet me at PAX and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm new at this too. So that I thought was really, really cool there. Um, you know, it was just uh, basically they're going to be wildcard are going to be at PAX West um, and it's between September the 2nd until the 5th. You can actually meet and interact with the HLNA as like a real life version. I really hope if you're going, make sure to get some videos because I want to see this. I was hoping to go there this year, but sadly, I'm not going to be able to make it. Definitely, definitely in, uh, you know, uh, events to come with wildcard, I'm going to get involved with all the ARC 2 stuff for sure. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's from that time and also uh, within the uh, PAX West, they're, they're going to be showing off and you're going to be able to get your first chance to play the Ultimate Survivor Edition on Nintendo Switch. This again is something that I'd love you guys to let me know if you go to PAX West, what you think about this new Nintendo Switch version because on the reviews is the reason whether I'm going to be getting it. And like I want to get it because I got the first one. I really didn't enjoy it at all. It felt a bit unplayable. And I just want to be able to... Sometimes, you know, when you're wanting to chill out somewhere different that isn't with a console or a PC and you want to play some Ark, that's the cool thing about having that option. I know there's some... You can get a Steam Deck. Um, and I, at the moment, I don't have one. So I want to use my Switch to play this. And also, we're getting the Scorched Earth Ascension. I don't think the Scorched Earth Ascension going to be at the event uh, because this is like kind of a demo version but i do think that um they're going to be showing you off some of the new game mode which i mentioned three days ago uh, which is the a launching of a new game mode featuring the loving AI companion HLNA as they as players go through ARC in a low pressure kid friendly dino fact filled adventure in the new special mode called ARC Dino Discover or Dinosaur Discovery. So I definitely will do some content on that, guys, when it does release. It's coming out in September, the Nintendo Switch version. So I can't wait to hop onto that. So then um, there was a really good piece in the community crunch um, on cancer awareness. I went through this fully in the other video but wildcard uh, choosing this month to, uh, it was chosen in honor of members of the community have been impacted by cancer many of our players are young adults and we're passionate about giving back to our community and we've opted to support a charity that focuses on that age group today cancer is the leading terminal disease amongst um, amongst 20 to 39 uh, year olds so this is a uh, this is a um, really really nice thing that wildcard are doing that's why they do show a lot of support to charities and then obviously in november we'll be doing extra life too so th a big shout out to wildcard for doing that um and then the evo event finished uh if you didn't know it was it was happening over the last weekend i have no information yet whether there's going to be another one um coming up for the weekend uh on friday i'll have to let you guys know that when i know um so that's that and then there was the community corner which i did go through in my last video neebs gaming big shout out to neebs gaming i don't think neebs gaming needs a shout out from me but uh absolutely i've always loved neebs videos and the rest is obviously the artwork which we went through in the most recent community crunch so yes that is going to be the video today guys that's what the update was if you were wondering um so let me know how big your update was as it is meant to be a major version um so that'd be interesting thank you very much for watching leave a like if you did enjoy as, as i said it really does help out the channel subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video very soon